Hello everyone and welcome to the Winter Racing Series here on Higher Plane Games throughout all of January. We've been playing or well, giving quick smidgens of racing games and today we are on the PS2 and we're playing Auto Modelista which was given a big fanfare um, and a lot of hype when it arrived and I'm not sure if it ever lived up to it because I didn't buy it at the time and then bought it a lot later on and um, yeah it was all for the shell, shell, uh, cell shaded graphics get your words out Simon <laughs> it's arcade prowess so this is the opening montage it's lovely that German car so let's dive on <laughs> very arcade so you have the arcade thing you can watch your replays you have your options and garage life so you can tune up your cars and play and there's a lot of stuff that you can do with all of that so let's go for a single race so nice to have Suzuka in there as a real track. Let's go. Actually, let's go for Suzuka and let's just see. I'm going to mute the BGM just because it will probably then give me a spank. So again, very similar to the wonders that are now, Suzuka is a Honda track so let's keep in it, very similar to GT you've got real life cars that you can then play along with go for that then you can pimp it up a little bit Go for Auto Modelista original colours. I quite like that red actually. And we'll stick with automatic. So we'll go for auto tuning. And we'll go for three. And that is to basically say, do you want rubber banding on or off? Which is quite good. So I know rubber banding annoys some people. It annoys me on some games, to be fair. But I have a feeling, because this will be the first time I've played this game in a while, that I'll be crap. So, if I'm not, then they'll catch up with me. I quite like cell shaded Suzuka. <laughs> Immediately smashing into everyone. So, I guess arcadey is the way how you describe the handling. Um, pointy. like initial pointiness and then it will kind of drift slide out but without actually drifting you know everyone knows I hate drifting oh dear I've here to have already got into the lead before we get to the Degners oh no damage of course there's your different. Oh, I like that engine noise. And there is a constant blur of wind <laughs> going by, which um, I quite like that touch actually. It gives you the um, drawn feel. 
and also when you're going up and down on the curves you've got the little black little shudder lines that go on the top of your car that's quite a good little touch as well Right, mate. <laughs> it's a good job there is no damage on this game because otherwise we'd all be a bit fucked. Oh, definite. Did you see the old slipstream action going on there? By good 30 kilometers an hour, that's overpowered. You can see that being tactical in a two player race. Whoop. It doesn't handle badly at all. <coughs> For a lot of these corners, you can just actually take your finger off the accelerator. Not for this one. Brakes are a bit ridiculously too good. But that's arcade for you. Boo 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 boo! Do do do. Yes, pleasantly surprised. Is there not a grandstand there in real life? Of course, this is before the days where gonna gravel traps and along comes tarmac to give everyone a second chance. They are all still just behind me. I can't for the life of me find a look back button. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so they're all still happily following. Last lap. It's not very often Capcom do racing games actually, so I wonder if this wasn't a massive success. Uh, it's kind of put them off a bit. Who does Ridge Racer? Is that Capcom? Or is that Namco? No, it's Namco, isn't it? Um, The other weird thing is, if you're using the analog stick to drive, when you press up and down, because I thought down was would be the look back button for some reason, it veers you off to the right hand side. So something's not quite right. With that. Yeah, your look back's um, L2. It's looking quite feisty behind, but they're not challenging anymore. So they're there to punish you. I'm gonna proper ding dong. Reach for the line. Boo 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 boo. 
Or I think you can say. So no actual driver's names, you're just going up against other makes. Fourth from the race records. Oh, oh I get. <laughs> Never mind, I've not got a memory card in, we're fine. Oh, I quite like the high speed replays. Good views going on. Let's exit that. So, actually, let's just dive into garage life and see what's available in there before we sign off. Grab a Toyota. We'll have one of those. Enter a license plate. Ooh. AAA will do. So, what can we do with these? Okay. So you can literally go around and tune up for different parts, fulfill conditions to select. So it looks like the more you race something, the more things you unlock, the more fun it will be. And the more fun you can have tuning your cars if that is what you'd like to do. And then you can dress it up by changing the body design. Oh, okay. Uh, the colour of the car. And create and post stickers on it. That will do. That's quite good though, that you can sit and play around with your cars and so on and so forth. I'm assuming that you will... ...be able to... I want to go back. I don't want to use that car, thank you. That's the career mode, essentially, to unlock more crap. God, you can tell how long it's been since I last played this. Let's do one other quick race, and let's do let's do a point to point, shall we? Do that one. Everyone loves a Daihatsu. Oh, it's got to be the shitty car. Let's pimp it up a bit. That green.
to the fore. Oh, drove straight into the back of it. I'm going to show you what I've got. Don't you worry. Whoa, I've pushed around the track. That'll do me. In my pimped up racing minibus. I can't see having a wheel being a big advantage in this game, unlike other racing games. This is very controller focused. It's good that real manufacturers are quite happy to get their car cell shaded up. I suppose that again explains why there's no damage. This is the twistiest hill ever. <laughs> but it's about the third time I've actually had to break. I know! Hooray! Well, thank you, again, sir. So that is Auto Model Easter, available on PS2 uh, from Capcom. Quite funky. We shall have to do something where we actually dive into the career mode and see how we get on with that at a later date. But until then, Enjoy it and I shall see you again on another video on High Plane Games. Cheers for watching. Bye for now.